everybody, today I am going to do something a little bit different. It is something I have never done before but I've seen other people doing. It came about because my dad found a load of old CD discs that I had saved a lot of things onto so I thought it would be really fun to react to some of my old photos that I've completely forgotten ever existed. So I asked Alfie to go through some of the discs and find any of me on my own. Um, that I've not seen or looked at since I've had the discs. So I'm gonna go through those with you and um, hopefully share some really great memories. I'm actually a little nervous about this. Okay, okay, so this first one was actually taken in my friend Alex's house. I think I was around 14 or 15. I am wearing the fingerless gloves and I have beads um, and I also have an earring that has a little music note on it and I remember that being one of my favourite earrings. This was also around the time I cut my own hair so yeah I remember that back then it was kind of like the cool thing to have black and white photos but just not not just like grayscale but like full-on contrasted black and white photos and clearly I thought I looked really cool in her mirror so I got her to take a photo of me like this and no doubt it was my profile picture on MySpace at one point. <laughs> I don't even have words for this, I feel so embarrassed. I don't know why I did this. I'm gonna say it was for a photography project because I think it might be or I'm using that as an excuse because it's so cringe that I can't bear for it to not be. Um, here I am in the very same hoodie and throw over which was in H&M and I starred it from the mannequin way um, and I wrote loose ends on my feet and then I took a picture. You can see all the crap under my bed as well. Really cool. Very cool Zoe. Oh this is a photo of me and my guinea pig. This was Milo. Look at him. He does actually look similar to Pippin and Percy because he's the same breed. He's an Abyssinian. Um, this was in my old bedroom when it was decorated blue and white. I was 13 here and I just had my braces taken off so I was really excited. That is the day I had my braces taken off actually. Oh my god. I mean, I bet my mum was like, oh darling, stand next to these beautiful flowers, you look like you blend in. Yes, would you look at that? It does look like my head is part of the flower arrangement. <laughs> I look really happy about it. The flowers are very pretty, it's just a shame that I'm like, some creep in the flowers with my like camouflage hat on, like peering at people. Oh, I, I, oh. So recently all my friends came to stay and this photo happened to pop up somewhere else and my friends were crying with laughter at this photo. I don't know what is happening here. I have no explanation for this at all. All I know is that my friend Jenny was around and we were getting really silly with hats and wigs and this was a photo that came out of it. Oh, look at my skincare on the side. What have I got? A bit of clean and clear. Yeah. Well, I'm just cool, aren't I? Really cool. Everyone wanted to hang out with me. We always had a good time with wigs and hats. Okay, I posted this one onto Twitter the other day because those brows, look at them. Look at my eyebrows. I was literally shocked. I get asked a lot in interviews, what's one piece of beauty advice that you would give to someone else? One thing I do always say when someone asks me that question is, don't touch your own eyebrows. Get someone else to do it because look, look at my eyebrows there. They look so bad. I've got a tiny little line. And this was my year 11 prom. So I was 16 here. I should have known better. I really should have known better. You get to a certain age and you think, right, so do I start plucking my eyebrows now? How do I pluck my eyebrows? I don't know, I'll just guess. I guess you take some from down here and I guess you take some from up here. No, get someone else to do it. So I don't know if anyone else used to do this, but whenever I got together with my friends, we would most likely do a photo shoot. So I guess this theme was, uh, oh, I'm gonna put your dressing gown on and pretend like I'm boxing you. I don't know. I mean, the eyebrows are still still skinny there, so <sighs> I obviously started plucking my eyebrows at 14. 
So this is in my friend Emma's garden and this is her shed and that is also her top and that's my skirt and I'm wearing beads and this is where I cut my own hair and I also dyed my hair which is why it looks like I have none. Oh here's one from the same day that I've edited uh, just up to the contrast and saturation slightly uh, slam dunk so awkward and there's that little music note earring again I obviously liked that one a lot oh what the hell okay so this was clearly another photo shoot that me and my friends decided to do except this one I've got stripy socks and heels that didn't fit me they didn't fit I never wore those I only wore them for photos I've got a denim skirt that I made out of a pair of jeans on. I also have my Harry Potter t-shirt that I was given when I was an extra. It says HP Crew on the back. I've got a cardigan where I probably did the buttons up wrong because I thought that was cool. A flower in my hair, a spotty headband and beads. And then I probably thought, ooh, do you know what? Do you know what would work really well with this photo? Let me get my dad's ladder out and I'll sit on it and then I'll suck my sleeve. Oh. Uh, this is really awkward. This is where I went through like a kind of alternative stage. <laughs> I'm wearing a child's H&M Disney top, which was too short, so I would always wear it on top of another top, with lots of colorful things. I made that skirt, actually, I was very proud of myself because I made it. There's that little sparkly belt again. I've got some bangles on, oh, some My Little Pony socks. And my hair looks awful, I look really serious. And again, I was like, what's gonna make this picture interesting? <gasps> oh, I know, I'll stand on my toilet, then I'll bend my leg inwards so it looks like it's snapped. And I'll lean that on my tap, on my sink. And then I'll hold on to the wall and I'll look really awesome. In actual fact, it just looks like I'm a five-year-old climbing on the toilet. Oh, here I am again, a little bit older, doing the same pose. Why was this, why was this a favorite? I feel like I need to replicate this. I need to go back to my house and I need to stand on that toilet. One leg on the toilet, one leg on the sink, one hand on the wall. I want you to all do it, actually. I want you to put that on Instagram and Twitter and I want you to use the hashtag bathroom pose. And I want you to all do this. I want you to have one leg on your toilet, one leg on your sink. I don't care if your sink isn't next to your toilet. You have to make it work. And I want one hand on the wall and I want to see them. And I'm going to have a right old laugh to myself because I just think it's great. Wow, I clearly thought I was really cool and I've got my little spotty top on, layered on top of my little mustard top and I've got a Polly Pocket necklace. Yeah, they were really cool, I'm not gonna lie. My beads and my little Polly Pocket head, head clip, hair clip and I'm biting my finger. Why? That's a finger selfie, that is. Hashtag finger selfie. Oh no, maybe don't use that hashtag. <laughs> Why did I do this? I don't understand. Good times. Good times. Yep, and there's probably plenty more where that came from. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was something a little bit different, but I thought it would be really fun. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you again soon.